The Voyager spacecraft had been silently traveling over the vast and desolate expanses of space for almost 50 years. In 1977, two mechanical messengers from Earth set off on a seemingly simple errand. Investigate the solar system's outer worlds. That mission was accomplished spectacularly. Voyager didn't stop there. Though, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continued to slowly drift into the interstellar emptiness long after their cameras went dark and their planetary contacts stopped. While continuing to transmit feeble data about the furthest reaches of our solar system and the dark beyond to Earth. Until anything changed, their transmissions, which were becoming weaker every year, resembled a scientific vigil rather than an active expedition. For further updates, use the like and subscribe buttons before we begin. When a world's focus was diverted by the daily news on an otherwise ordinary day, a signal emerged. In contrast to the typical telemetry, this one had traits that went against decades worth of recognized trends. Attention was drawn to more than simply the message's content. It was the shape. Voyager 1 abruptly broke protocol while sending out basic engineering data and sporadic observations of magnetic fields and cosmic rays. The flow of recognizable digital pulses had changed into something ordered, intricate, and clearly deliberate. There had been a transmission from Voyager, but not from Earth. The anomaly was initially observed by deep space network scientists. Initially, it was thought to be a hardware issue, a cosmic ray impact, or a data malfunction. However, analysis disproved every traditional explanation. They were seeing neither failure nor noise. The modulation was intentional. Patterns, frequency fluctuation, and cadence all pointed to a framework that went much beyond chance cosmic interference. The realization struck like an electric surge when the initial interpretation started. Something was encoded in the message. Not technical information or telemetry, but words, arrangements, and symbols. The communication had been received, processed, and returned by Voyager. The ramifications were astounding. Voyager 1 was more than 15 billion kilometers from Earth in interstellar space. There is no known signal that could have reached it with such focus clarity at that distance from any human origin. It had been spoken through by someone or something. All human expectations regarding communication in deep space were broken by the timing, the abrupt change in output, and the content of the message. The enormity of what was happening caused the world to pause. The message's substance, which is still being decoded, had a beauty that made it impossible to write it off as a chance occurrence. Sequences that reflected prime numbers, golden ratios, geometrical progression, and mathematical constants were identified by scientists. These sequences had patterns that, when visually mapped, created complex diagrams that were not only abstract art but also schematics and perhaps even representations of physical dimensions. The sender seemed to have selected a global vocabulary. First contact mathematics as a language. The public's response was immediate and profound. News outlets halted their programming within hours of the disclosure. Speculation on social media erupted into an unmanageable inferno, and emergency sessions were held to brief world leaders. This wasn't a busted conspiracy video or a mysterious abnormality hidden in a scholarly article. This actually happened. A message not of this Earth had found its way through Voyager, a man-made relic that was navigating through the darkness beyond Pluto. Humanity had been looking into the skies for eons, wondering if anyone was out there. Voyager's golden record, which included greetings, music, and relics from Earth's civilization, was an optimistic gesture, a container in the ocean of the cosmos. And suddenly there seemed to be a response, not from a far-off galaxy with a radio explosion, through the very messenger we had dispatched, not with some enigmatic signal detected by a distant dish. The broadcast contained more than simply numerical constructs. Decryption proceeded, revealing deeper layers. A potential comprehension of causality in time was suggested by temporal sequences. Other pieces looked like acoustic waveforms, suggesting that the message was intended to be both seen and heard. It was a suggestion of great sensitivity as well as intelligence. The person who wrote the response wasn't just responding to what we said. They were talking to each other. There was a flurry of speculation. Was the signal a machine intelligence's automated reaction? Something had been echoed back by a passive cosmic relay that had recorded Voyager's passing. Or was there something much more intricate at play? 
a purposeful communication from a civilization or sentient entity using Voyager as a medium. Some suggested a communication threshold, according to which our probe had entered a communicative perimeter after a specific distance from our star. Initiating a protocol contact, governments from all around the world swiftly collaborated, creating an unprecedented scientific partnership. No one country was concerned about this anymore. All of humanity was the beneficiary. Technologists, linguists, mathematicians, cryptographers, and theoretical physicists were drawn into 24-hour investigations. A fascinated worldwide populace keenly monitored their endeavors. There were more questions than answers with each decoded section. It was unlike anything that had ever been envisioned. If this was first contact, it was awe, not terror, that caused the world to pause. This was neither a threat nor an invasion. It was a moment of cosmic recognition, something purer. No longer were we lone watchers. The universe had changed from one of awe to one of reaction in a single communication. The message was proof. Even though it wasn't an invitation or a proclamation, evidence that we weren't by ourselves, evidence that our interest had not been unfounded. Every medium was impacted by culture. Philosophers, musicians, and artists were all inspired. New songs that echoed the message's pattern surfaced. The abstract nature of its diagrams was attempted to be conveyed in paintings, inquiring as to whether the voice, now conveyed by Voyager, had previously spoken in lost epics. Scholars and authors went to ancient writings. Religions responded differently. Some wanted proof of divine creation. Others present a challenge to ingrain convictions. But wonder, a collective, panting expectation of what might happen next was the dominant emotion on the world. Additionally, the occasion rekindled a long dormant spirit of solidarity. Borders lost their significance for the first time in modern history. Political disputes waned in comparison to the scope of the cosmic discussion. In a cosmos where civilizations separated by unimaginable distances would one day talk openly, people gazed up at the sky with hope rather than fear. This milestone went beyond astronomy. It was a realization of existence. There were also real-world repercussions. Budget cuts and changing priorities had previously hindered space organizations. But now, they were at the top of the global agenda. Infrastructure for intergalactic communication began to take shape. Missions that had been in financial limbo were brought back to life. It became not only possible but also necessary to propose the launch of new probes with more sophisticated capabilities for long-distance communication. The sender was the subject of extensive speculation by scientists. Did they live in the region Voyager was traversing? Had they been waiting for a sign of readiness? Monitoring us the entire time? Was this the initial node in a large network? Or what? Every relay point is awaiting the intelligent agent's signal. Unanswered and tantalizing, the inquiry world into the emptiness, the technical team examining the communication. Meanwhile, discovered that their presumptions were overextended. Certain aspects of the transmission were not consistent with existing computational models. It seemed as though the encoding contained physics principles that humanity had not yet discovered. Not as fringe theories, but as plausible possibilities. Ideas of quantum resonance, extra-dimensional structuring, or even syntactic statements living outside of linear time started to circulate, once considered a relic of the past. The Voyager probe had evolved into the most important thing that humanity had ever produced. Its straightforward methods, created using technology from the 1970s, had managed to bridge a gap in both space and comprehension. Its durability was evidence of the spirit of discovery itself as well as engineering the same spirit that was now confronted with an unfathomable mystery. While media coverage grappled with the event's scale, it also represented its magnitude when something radically alters the human state. How does one report on it? Anchors whispered their respect. Production of documentaries was rushed. Every known detail and every theoretical aspect were examined in podcasts. Message boards and forums were ablaze with speculations, interpretations, and fervent appeals for openness. The scientific community was cautious despite Voyager's unexpected rise to fame. They cautioned the public against making hasty assumptions and underlined the necessity of more research. Even their warnings, however, were unable to stifle the astounding reality. There was a backward reach. Someone had seen us, 
At last the golden silence of space had whispered back. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Please share your opinions on Voyager's most recent communication by leaving a comment below. What are you anticipating next? We will want to speak with you. I appreciate you viewing. And I hope to see you again soon.